Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're coming to you from Lowe's Home Improvement Store to see what items they have for the 2020 holiday season. All you gotta do to find out what's inside is simply come along with me. Okay, so we get inside, we are greeted by some inflatables here. Santa's Sugar Shop. I don't see any sugar though. A little misleading. $99 for a 12 foot Santa. Hold the Merry Christmas sign. It's actually a pretty good price for an inflatable that size. Up on top there we do have the Merry Camper. I think I got Santa and the reindeer in there having some coffee. Holly, Jolly Trolley, a huge snowman head, and a Santa. Got an inflatable nutcracker here. Looks like he's a little under the weather. He's also got a hole in him right there, too. We got a nice snow covered tree with these larger color bulbs they're just little clear balls around the actual bulbs themselves and some of them are not covered but they are covered in snow i actually like this tree they have something similar similar to this at home so it looks really nice there's a huge one here wow that is massive you guys can see how big that is. I mean, I know camera doesn't do it justice, but you know, I'm 5'11". That's probably 12 foot tall. It's pretty big. Here's one more look at the Merry Camper. The Holly Jolly Trolley. I do like that one. Not only is it a catchy name, but hey, it's something that goes on rails, which has Santa and a penguin and some gifts up there. And again, the large, very large snowman head and another Santa. Up on the other top rack here, they have a kind of small to big, a minion, Olaf, looks like a cactus, a wiener dog, a hippo, snowman, Mickey, which is toppled over. He's trying to end his life already, which is not good. It's like a tree, a penguin, a Santa, snowman, another Mickey, which is standing nice and tall, another Santa, some gifts that are pretty deflated. A Grinch, but that Grinch doesn't look nearly as good as the one at Home Depot. Snoopy, more minions with ugly sweater contest. That's actually pretty neat. He's wearing the ugly sweaters. Minions popping out of the gifts. Unicorn, Santa with a list, a naughty list. Tree, more gifts. Nativity scene, a bunny, and a... Uh, Helicopter Santa. We gotta get a closer look at that bunny. I don't know why that's up there. It's not Easter yet. Okay, minor correction. That is not a bunny, that's a llama. <laughs> Whoops. Llama's got some gifts on the back. Yeah, Polar Air Helicopter Santa. Definitely some different ones I haven't seen before. I do like the naughty list. Hopefully my name is not on there. So that's just one section. We come out here to the lawn and garden area. This is where you're going to find most of the Christmas items. Right here, we got this truck. It's a hefty price tag, $398. But it looks like it has some lights on it. The wheels light up like it's driving. It looks really cool, but you could buy a, an actual used car for... Just a little bit more than that. There's a lot of people here too, so I may have a little trouble filming today, but I'm gonna show you what I can. Some different lights here, candy canes, diamond sparkles. Those are kind of nice. Those are Edison style. Of course, projections, which are pretty common nowadays. Saw this at, or at least something similar at Home Depot. It's almost like a kaleidoscope 
disco ball. And down here you got the 25 days of Christmas. Each with its own little door. A tree. Oh, a little love bug with some presents and trees. <laughs> Look at the mice in a uh, matchbox. That's kind of cute. That one's reading a story. These ones are ready for bed. Mouse in a matchbox. This one's pretty neat. This is a tree with almost like yarn or like kind of like big curls or loops. There's a smaller version of the truck. This one's a little bit more in my price range. If this was blue, I'd probably buy this today. Now we did see Dollar Tree has a little small version for a dollar. Oh, there it goes. So the lights light up on the tree and the headlights. I do like that. It's nice, rustic, vintage look. Just needs to be blue. Lowe's, if you're listening, make a blue one for next year. I'll buy it. <laughs> but I was telling that I could paint it. These light up a little bit. And some more specialty lights here. Some spheres. Snowflakes. Angels. Stars. Here's like the three candles, flickering candles. And my favorite area here, which is the little villages, they always have a great selection here. I go across here, the, that one is like a ski slope. Train going around to the bottom. Skiers are coming down, it's all lit up. Got Pliers Firehouse with the fire truck coming in and out. Got Mrs. Claus Christmas shop, some carolers and dancers. And it looks like a jewelry store. Uh, it's like a Conway Town Square. It looks nice. The windmill, TV. And we got the church. The diner's really nice. Then we got the little rustic cabin. The spinning tree, they're roasting some marshmallows. Christmas tree farm, with the truck in front, that's nice as well. Train station, too bad there's no train there. This one is Easton's Toy Shop. Oh, and there's the train again. There's a little static display, some people sitting by the fire. Karen's tree lot. And the reindeer taking off for flight. Here's some loggers. This one may do something here. Nothing. This is Grace's wreath shop and Ed's tree conservatory. That's pretty neat. I'll just give you an idea on prices here. You can go pause the video if you want to see anything here in particular, but they are fairly priced. I was actually expecting them to be more. That one's more expensive, obviously. Town Square, $99. The television's $109. Some fake trees, some figures. It's tough to pick. If I was to pick my favorite, I'd probably pick the mountain right there with the tree. I think that would be my pick if I was able to afford that. Second place, maybe Karen's tree lot or the Christmas tree farm. Hard to choose. What would you guys choose? Let me know down in the comment section. Well, here's the old style, but more modern, ceramic trees. A lot of people had those in the 70s and 80s. We had a green one. 
and the little bulbs where Lucy used to pull right out. Alan Roth dancing, pirouetting reindeer. Got the countdown, days of Christmas with a date. Nice colorful wreath here, which is like little pom-poms. They are doing some work in here, so I do apologize for that beeping. Nutcrackers. Rudolph. Flamingo floaty with a Christmas tree. And Alan Roth, little garland tree. Pretty nice. Now, if you guys are curious as to how Lowe's compares to Home Depot for the holiday season, click the link up in the corner. You can watch that video there. Okay, moving down, we got some lighted items, wreaths, little trees, merry and bright. That is, I think, wood. Some little tabletop trees. Lighted garland, non-lighted garland. Here's the ornaments. Yeah, these ones are glass. These ones are the real ones that you don't want to drop. But love the color. Some more ornate ones here. Handmade in Poland. They get some Polish ornaments. All different styles, colors, variety. And you can even buy some pre-broken ones. Special edition. <laughs> Just kidding. You do want to check them before buying them. Here are some different types of trees. Storage bag. Some non-fun stuff. Here's all the trees that are boxed up. Let's see. $398 pre-lit. Nine foot tall. Two ninety-eight. Seven and a half feet tall. 298 snow covered now we'll check out this middle section here then we have the other sides there's actually quite a bit of stuff here activity mat i don't think that's really christmas related just some toys to buy oh colorful peacock he's not plugged in but he looks like he does light up i believe yeah there's lights going to him Hungry, hungry hippo. Ah! <laughs> Narwhal, the whale. We've got a cardinal. Oh, we've got a schnauzer. This fuzzy beard. And I agree, they're frosty. Let it snow. We need snow this year. It looks like we've got the circus snowmen here doing some balancing acts. Nice bare tree. White LEDs, I do like that a lot. They can be used pretty much all year. Yeah, even add some decorations to it if you wish. I think we saw this last year. Camper, with the tree on top. They sell smaller versions of that Dollar Tree for only a dollar. Almost identical. Here's the holiday living sleigh. Old Saint Nick, the elf has got the big letter going to the North Pole. Here's another truck, not blue. <laughs> In the middle there, got an airplane, which looks really neat. It's almost like the Red Baron. I even missed two of this lamppost. Would be really nice as well. Reindeer in the middle. It's an angel. Saw these at Home Depot. 3D glasses, I don't know. I guess for Christmas lights. Grapevine fox what does the fox say <laughs> snowman another tree some more reindeer look at these gift boxes it's almost like a uh, coonskin cap on it as the ribbon never saw that before and i got some poinsettias and stuff over there now getting this truck if that was blue I still wouldn't buy it for $400, but I would like it a lot more. Letters to Santa, $400 mailbox. That is pretty expensive and it's pretty cheaply made too. I mean, this is just regular cheap plastic. That is not worth $400, in my opinion at least. You could probably construct a wooden one, look more authentic and to be cheaper. 
yeah, that is a bit ridiculous. But maybe others think it's worth it. Oh, looks like we got the Coca-Cola polar bear. It should have a can of Coke there instead of the present. Snowman. Love these big stars with the ornaments. I've never seen that before either. Wow. And it's lighted as well. It's got little, like, rope light. So it's lighted, has stars. It is a star. I'm sorry. Lighted has ornaments and is a star. There's a collar for a tree to kind of hide the base of the tree. Enjoy. J-O-Y. I absolutely love these. These are really nice. They're really bright and colorful. They do light up, which is nice. And it's very unique. That's one of my favorite items I've seen this year here, at Lowe's at least. Fabric gift boxes, tabletop trees, or little um, sidewalk trees. Oh, look at the bike. Antique bicycle. It's got a basket full of presents and a tree on the back. And here's a little Mickey. Let's see if we can make him pop out. Come on, get down in there. Go ahead. Come on, get in there. Stop poking out. Come on. Work with me here. Get in there. <clears throat> Mickey is not cooperating. Okay. That was a struggle. Oh, jeez. He <laughs> came out so fast. Oh, that was a 30 seconds of my life I won't get back. Vintage stained glass nativity scene. Is that stained glass? No, it's plastic, but it has the stained glass look to it. That way it's not as fragile. Fragile. Pillows, blankets, some stockings. Lighted candy canes, more trees. More trees. Some non fun stuff just a laser projector a timer more pillows try me oh it's a flickering candle in there yeah that's actually uh pretty nice a little lantern inside the wreath some Small miscellaneous stuff. A lot of wreaths. Oh, we got more Jack in the Boxes. Let's see. Olaf, you gonna cooperate with me? Let's see if you're gonna work with me here. Okay. Let's see. Jeez. <laughs> that one didn't scare me, but they do not want to stay down there. And some really big or ornaments here. Quite gargantuan. These are plastic and glittery. So I'm going to be taking some glitter home. And some little animated figures. <laughs> oh boy. I don't want to get copyrighted with that. Let's, uh, See what else we missed. The other side is some more wreaths. That one's like a basket. Bells. And of course stockings. Oh, here's some little snow globes. Peanuts. I think we saw that at Home Depot. Here's the Grinch. Yeah, just playing some Christmas carols. Snow globe style. Oh, and on everyone's favorite Christmas list, walkie talkies. <laughs> you can pretend you're in the SWAT team. Very odd place for that. And the last section here, we do have some more lawn decorations. Got a nice lamp post over there with the Santa head on it. Some Mickey ear sideway markers, pathway markers. Mickey coming out of the chimney. There's mini ice skating. I think we have a Mickey um, hologram projection. 
Here's some Mickey Mouse rainbow wave, I guess like hanging lights. They look pretty neat. Different color color schemes to them. Oh, we got some blow molds. Olaf, Mickey, Minnie. You don't see those too often. More lights, light displays, color choice. Lights have come a long way in recent years, but so has the price. They are quite pricey. Now, Home Depot had Christmas lights set necklace for $5, but they were really tiny bulbs. For $2 more, you get the full-size ones, but if you go to five below, you can get that same thing for five bucks. So, you can save yourself a little bit of money. More lights, more bulbs. And here's, oh geez, some birds just flew right over my head. <laughs> um, so yeah, some more lawn decorations, the gift boxes, this spiral tree in the background, changing colors. I do like that. Snowman with the blue hat, candy canes, jolly old Saint Nick. It's actually eerily quiet in here now, I'm the only person in here. Reindeer and another tree in the background, a spiral tree. That is $139, that one's $99, and that one changes color. That doesn't really make too much sense. Oh, we got Santa, and I think that's a reindeer. Going for a joy ride. Smaller spiral trees, some little figures here. Santa, snowman, penguin. Nicely colored snowman in the background. $60, he's all decked out in different colors. Completely outlined. Here's some animatronics. Animated Mrs. Claus, Santa. And more Mickey and Minnie, more blow molds. Letters to Santa, $40. That's much more affordable than the $400. <laughs> and this one actually lights up. Candy cane, candles, and the Nutcracker Soldier. No, he's not a Nutcracker. Toy Soldier. Come on, Jay. You know your Christmas stuff. And inflatables. We did see a lot of these out in the main area of the store. We pretty much looked at all of them. If you guys want to check out the prices here, feel free to pause the video. They definitely don't have the Christmas vacation ones like Home Depot does, but I do like the Holly Jolly Trolley. 160. Okay, guys, that was the look here inside Lowe's for 2020 holiday season. They do have a nice variety of stuff. I trying to decide if Home Depot has more or not. The way the store is laid out, it's hard to tell, but each of them have different things to offer depending on what you're looking for. But we're gonna head outside. I will share my final thoughts with you and let you know what my favorite item or items are that we saw here today. So I'll see you outside. All right, guys, we're back outside. I'm gonna share my final thoughts here. From what we saw, I think that Lowe's and Home Depot have a pretty similar size selection for the holiday department. They have a little bit of everything, a little bit of something for everyone, but I did notice a couple key differences. Lowe's actually has those little holiday village houses, like the ski slope, the train thing, the diner. I didn't see anything like that at Home Depot. So those ones are only exclusive here at Lowe's from what I could see. And also that joy sign, the joy, J-O-Y with the ornaments inside and the lights up. That really looked beautiful. That was eye-catching. I would love to get that in the future to put it somewhere. And of course, they do have the truck with the tree in the back, which I do love, but it's not blue. So that is a, a small deal breaker for me, but some of the prices though are kind of ridiculous. For the mailbox, $400. For that truck, $400. I don't know if I'd even pay half that price. But as you saw, as I did mention, I did film Home Depot. Home Depot does have, I think, better prices overall, but both stores have something different and unique compared to the other one. But for me though, those little house villages, the Joy Ward are definitely my favorite items here. But I'd love to hear from you guys. Comment down below, let me know what you liked that you saw inside Lowe's. And if you watched the Home Depot video, feel free to let me know 
what store you think has a better selection or better prices. I did notice too, Home Depot has a much larger Christmas tree selection as well. So again, it all depends on what you're shopping for, what your budget is, but hopefully these videos help steer you in the right direction and let you know what kind of choices are available for the holiday season. So with that said, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for taking the time to watch my frustrations with that little Mickey Jack in the box. That was a, <laughs> that was a stinker. But more importantly, guys, stay safe, happy holidays, and as always, I'll see all of you in the next video.